Attention, students. As you know, November is the month of Walton School's canned food drive. Please bring your donations to school any time during this month. The food will go to senior citizens who live alone in our neighborhood. You can donate any canned foods such as corn, peas, or soup. You can also bring in dried foods such as rice, cereal, or pasta. There will be a prize for the class that brings in the most food. That class will be awarded a pizza party at the end of the month. Take part in this food drive and experience the joy of helping others. May I have your attention for a minute, please? First, I want to congratulate you on your graduation, which is two weeks away. As you know, our auditorium can't hold as many as we wanted to. It has limited seats, so we decided to limit the number of guests a student may invite to the ceremony. A student can invite up to five people. Each senior student will be given five invitation cards, and only friends or family members who show us the invitation card can enter the auditorium. I am sorry that we can't allow you to invite as many as you want to. Congratulations on your graduation again. Thank you for your kind cooperation in advance. I'd like to thank you first for being a host family for the exchange students this year. As I said earlier, they'll stay here for a month from July 10th to August 9th. They will be on campus from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Transportation to and from school will be provided by the school. Most lunch meals are taken care of by the school too. They will spend most weeknights preparing for the following day's lesson. On the weekends, they usually socialize with each other. This is their rough schedule. I appreciate your cooperation. Lastly, I firmly believe that this will be a wonderful opportunity for your children to make new friends. I'd like to thank you for all that you have done to the success of our company for the last thirty years. Now is the time for us to make a second leap. In order to get closer to our customers, our management made a decision that the first thing we have to do is change the name of the company. Our current name has a reputation of sounding old-fashioned, so we need a new one that sounds more modern as well as appealing to the younger generation. I believe you are creative enough to get a good name, and hope everyone participates in this naming contest. If your idea is selected for our company, you'll be given a golden key worth one thousand dollars. Hello, everyone. As a school nurse, I want to give you some information about sending your kids to school. Every morning, I'd like you to check your child's condition. If he or she has symptoms like headache, fever, sore throat, cough, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, etc., please do not send your child to school. You should keep your son or daughter at home until he or she is feeling better and does not have a fever for at least twenty-four hours. Kids who return to school before they completely get well often become sick again with another illness. Thank you for your cooperation in our attempts to keep the students healthy and safe. Wrapping up the meeting today, I'd like to inform you of one thing about the tuition. Please remember that student tuition fees must be paid by June twenty-fifth. Unless you pay it by the date, your child will be placed on the admission waiting list, and his or her enrollment space will be offered to other students waiting for their turn on the list. I know many of you have already paid your child's tuition. For those of you who have not yet paid, I would like to encourage you to make sure it reaches us by June twenty-fifth to confirm your child's enrollment space. Thank you for your attention. May I have your attention for a second? You must be happy to be going home healthy. However, the day of discharge might be confusing unless you keep a few things in mind that are easily overlooked. For example, you need to get your transportation home ready. And if you want to send some of your belongings home beforehand, you can ask us, and we'll help you out. If you have entrusted us with valuables, please notify your nurse so you may get them back before your discharge. 
Lastly, if you want assistance for other medical needs after discharge, you should discuss it with your nurse first. Congratulations on leaving our hospital healthy!